Hello guys and welcome to another episode of GG Racing. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to improve your lap times by using telemetry. Uh, I know that it's pretty difficult once you hit that perfect lap to improve even more and uh, it's actually pretty simple to do it. There are some steps that you can do uh, in order to find where you can do better. So. We're gonna use telemetry. Uh, in the past, I used to believe that uh, telemetry is for professionals or for people who are super hardcore at the game. But after using it a few times, I noticed that it's super simple, at least for a beginner or intermediate level. Of course, it can become a rocket science for the professionals where they try to improve from a tenth to a tenth. But uh, for us regular sim racers, I think that it's not the case. So by the end of this video, you will know how to use telemetry data in under a few minutes. So after quickly looking at those uh, graphs, you'll know where do you lack and probably what is the root cause for it and um, yeah let's get into it so here we are on the VRS website we're comparing here the telemetry of my lap with the lap of a professional driver who drove the exact same car on the same track with the same track conditions so everything is the same we want to look first on the time graph this is the second graph here and as you can see, we lose time in different places. So we start here with the same time difference. Then in turn one, it's a steep slope. This means, this means we lose time, we lose half a second. Then we see here in the middle of sector two then that we start to lose time again. And then in the beginning of sector three, it's a steep, steep line. Here we lose a lot of time as well. So now we know where we lose time compared with the pro and we'll try to find the cause of this. So if we look on the third graph, this one, this shows the line distance that we have compared with his. So every time we see peaks, like for example, here and here and here, it means that we're not using the same line as himself and probably is not ideal so a pattern that we see is that for example here in turn one and then at the beginning of sector three we have a so much different line so this could mean that the reason why we lose time is because our racing line is not ideal and we need to work on the racing line also, if we look below on the throttle application and we zoom in a bit, we can see here with red, red line that I get on the throttle, I release it and I get on the throttle again. Here, the same thing happened. So, it, you can see that the ideal way would be to have something like the blue lines with no extra corrections but these are probably done because of the racing line. So if I don't have an ideal racing line and I'm trying to overdrive the car, I do some small corrections like this. So this needs to be uh, kept, in kept in mind. And then on the brake, we can see something unusual here. Here we see that we brake more than he brakes. And the difference is significant because he breaks with 17, 75% and we break with 100. So on this turn, this will be a red flag as well. So having said that, we can know that we can improve in sector one in the beginning, in sector two in the middle, and sector three uh, at the beginning of sector three. So these are the three places that we could focus on and let's see if we can gain some time. And here we are again. Uh, I did another session and I tried to implement some of the things that I noticed from the previous analysis. And I hit a 128.8, which is half a second faster than my previous best. And I'm super happy with this. You know, you hit at, a, at some point you hit 
like a roadblock where you can improve with one tenth at most so I felt that I hit that but uh, after after looking on the analysis and understanding what the problem was uh, it wasn't so hard to improve it was actually pretty easy I had a hard time because I kept invalidating but uh, I could notice that I was gaining speed so if we look on the analysis uh, on the second graph here with time we see that uh, throughout the track we keep gaining time so every time this goes down it means we're gaining time so we see here in turn one and two because we noticed in the first analysis and we focus on it we see in the beginning of sector two this is a big improvement and throughout the sector three the difference is not so so much uh, in this turn we gain again but here we it's the same and in the last turn we, we gain a bit as well so um, that's it uh, I hope that this video helps someone uh, if you want to download this you can just google virtual racing school and use this uh, tracking tool it's actually simple to install and use so feel free to do that and now I'm going to show you side by side the two laps and uh, as always thank you for sticking by and see you on the next video bye